Thank you very much uh, for being with us to, uh, on this session on the uh, home automation. It's a, it's a big question that we, we all have in the uh, ecosystem, in uh, the, distribution, the electrical distribution in the past, uh, past a few years and how, how this will evolve in the, uh, in, in the coming years, knowing that uh, the, IoT, the IoT is really reshuffling all uh, the environment. So uh, to answer part of your questions, uh, we invited a uh, few people around the table. So you have... Uh, Audrey, Audrey Mina is, uh, is in, in charge of uh, the uh, business unit of, uh, for the home automation in, uh, in Somfy. Audrey, well, yes, welcome. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I cannot hello. hear you very much, but... Uh, Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Hello, everyone. Okay. So that's why I'm wor working for Somfy and in charge of a smart home, developing uh, the platform, uh, the box, uh, the interface, the user interface for the EMEA business for Somfy and the... Uh, on this topic, we are partnering with Schneider. Okay, uh, Luca. So uh, welcome to uh, to this session. And Thank you uh, very much. We are we are thrilled uh, to understand and to see how uh, you you manage uh, the home building activity and how the IoT world will change uh, your uh, uh, your business. Sure. Thank you very much. Okay. And Carlos, Carlos, uh, your you're here, uh, you're an, an, an eco, eco expert in, uh, in Spain, and uh, you will also share with us the, uh, the, the evolution of uh, one, one of the home automation uh, uh, systems that we are currently using with uh, KNX. So, uh, That's right, yes. It will be very interesting to see how it evolves in, the, uh, in, in this IoT world. Yes, we, we are an engineering and integration company working for the high-end uh, residential market and I will try to show how this KNX and Schneider solution are helping us to okay. have happy customers. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for being with us. So, and uh, myself, I'm uh, the Senior Vice President in uh, Connected Living in Schneider Electric, uh, taking care of uh, all the offers on wiring devices, uh, the standalone electronics, network connectivity, home automation, KNX, everything. It's, I mean, it's uh, quite uh, the, uh, the, a good part. I'm, I'm covering all a good part of uh, what we are doing uh, and developing for the residential market, but not only. So as you know, the, uh, uh, the world is, is changing for all of us. It's uh, in the residential market, especially the IoT. The IoT is, is changing the... Uh, uh, the way that uh, we interact with things and uh, it would be for us uh, a moment of, uh, of big, big change and I would say to, to disrupt the, the market in the, uh, uh, here in, in the world but not only in the US but everywhere because uh, IoT and the technology has changed drastically in the past few years bringing the functionalities and bringing the connectivity uh, affordable to this uh, to this segment market. We've been we've been connecting uh, our um, our products, our systems in uh, in the industry in the building, and now with uh, the technology that uh, we are uh, using, we can connect also the residential market. So the IoT will grow dr drastically and and and. Uh, exponentially in the, in the coming years. And we want the ecosystem, we want our partners, we want our uh, distributors, home developers, and so on to benefit from this change. Uh, for some of us, we can think of uh, a threat, but we have plenty of opportunities of business by embracing the technology that uh, is available today. And you can see that uh, it will, it will uh, it will impact uh, every single home in Europe. It will uh, impact every single functions that we are currently using, non-connected, like uh, switching a light, like uh, dimming a light, like changing your temperature, and uh, getting your information on your energy, and uh, selecting the right moment to charge your, your, uh, your car. All this was extremely complex in the past, but pretty easy now 
by, uh, by the technology and by the open protocols that are available. And if you can see that for us in the, in the home with all the trends of sustainability, with uh, the trends of uh, more connectivity and uh, looking for better efficiency in the energy, uh, we are able to provide in the, uh, for, the, for this segment market very good values that we can, we can achieve with our, uh, our uh, solutions. We can bring more comfort, we can bring more convenience, more efficiency in energy management, we can bring more safety and security. And uh, what we want also is to bring you flexibility and scalability on the system. Today, we have a solution which is non-connected. This is our baseline. We are number one in the world for bringing good switches, breakers, and so on. But now what we have is to bring them to more connectivity, and there is a huge opportunity for all of us to participate in this journey. Thanks to the technology, the simple technology that you have on your mobile, using Wi-Fi, using Bluetooth, but uh, other protocols like uh, ZigBee, Z-Wave, Thread, will help us to bring better connectivity at a very good price point that was not uh, achievable a few years ago. And we can come all the way to some more complex uh, installation with Kinex. We will be able also to give you a much better visibility on the new energy landscape, having the electrical vehicle, having your photovoltaic connecting to each other and making sure that uh, you bring the right efficiency of the, of the energy. So these are the values that we want to, to bring. And for that, more importantly, Schneider will not do it by, it, by, by itself. Schneider will come with, uh, with their partners because we, different functionalities will be brought by the partners. So it will be very important for all of us to, to work on that, on that direction. Having a system which is fully open, open platforms at different levels, open platforms at device level, at gateways levels, at cloud levels, at application levels. And uh, we will see that it's a, it's a modular system that we will be proposing and Schneider Electric is, is aimed to embrace the complexity by bringing their partners with us. So here I would say that uh, Luca and, and Carlos, so we have uh, for you in, your, in your role, what is home automation? What does it, what does it bring for you? Uh, as a home builder? As a home builder, as Nainor Homes, of course, we are focused on consumer IoT, uh, not industrial IoT, of course, and we are focused on the final customer. And we agree in this vision of uh, the connected home as uh, an efficient, comfortable, and safety dash security connected home. But we have built a value proposition around the this concept of house as a platform in which uh, the home becomes a platform uh, that um, has the capability to access third-party services mm -hmm. or an ecosystem of uh, smart devices or IoT devices and this, is the and this is the important thing that allows the homeowner to adapt to uh, grow or to decrease their installation in their smart home depending on their necessity, uh, their needs or their vital age. So in this case we are talking about uh, flexibility, scalability, uh, ecosystem, freedom mm -hmm. and in our uh, research with our customers, when our customers when they refer to a smart home they are uh, talking about solving daily problems. Is that make my life easier? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this sense, 
simplicity, ease of use, time and money reduction, energy efficiency. So a smart home is everything that you can make uh, homeowners' life easier through technology. Okay? And our customers say, if you, might, if you make my life easier, I will pay for it. Okay? But just Good in to an, hear. Just in an app, no mm -hmm. two steps. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, and we are very committed, and the evidence is that we were the first um, developer in Europe to set Google Home as a standard. Okay? Just as a gateway to this ecosystem of IoT devices that will uh, allow the homeowners to build their own smart home. Okay, thank you. Carlos, uh, what is your... I, I agree with the customer's demand that Luca is describing, but in our case, uh, working for the high-end residential, mm -hmm. uh, we often face uh, semi-industrial uh, facilities mm -hmm. to be managed uh, uh, by people that don't want to lose their time, you know, uh, learning complex things or reading user books. Uh, for us, sometimes uh, a house, a project is a perfect storm set, you know, because we have semi-industrial equipment, pools, uh, air conditioning control, underfloor heating, lighting, everything. And on the other hand, you have customers that are used to have the latest iPhone drive uh, Tesla or Aston Martin or whatever. Uh, so for us, KNX is the perfect tool to match those opposite worlds, thanks to, to the automation. Uh, otherwise, you can you imagine uh, trying to show this kind of people how to operate the lighting of the house, the air conditioning? There's no way. So what I understand is uh, you, you're talking about very complex systems behind the scene, but it has to be very simple in the user experience, bringing really something unique for this uh, type of high-end high -end customers. We have to think about houses that are like little tiny boutique hotels, mm -hmm. but for just one family. There's no staff there to operate it by the end of the day. So it's just as you are saying, you need very intuitive interfaces mm -hmm. to operate over complex machinery. Mm -hmm. And this is something that uh, in Schneider Electric uh, we are working very hard is to make sure that uh, we offset the complexity of the systems and bringing this uh, simplicity, bringing this uh, easiness of uh, an intuitiveness of the, uh, of the applications that uh, we, are, uh, we are running. So, okay, and Audrey, the, your, we, we were talking about very open platforms, but uh, what does it mean for, for you being in, the, uh, in this ecosystems of connectivity that we created as an alliance, uh, Schneider Electric, Danfoss, and, and Sumfi? So yeah. how, how, how important do you think that is? Uh, maybe I can, I can just uh, start by explaining uh, in, in two words what is Sumfi, maybe for those who don't know the company. Uh, so we are a worldwide leader in home automation, uh, uh, manufacturing matters for windows, uh, shutters, blinds, awning, gates, garage doors, and many other stuff. And we started 10 years ago, actually, in smart home business um, and connected security. And um, being open, even if we didn't use the word at this time, 10 years ago, but was from the start, yeah. the idea behind smart home. And uh, we were already working 10 years ago, getting sure that we could uh, manage together with other brands than Somfy in home product together with a unified user experience. So at this time it was more simple than what it is today. Uh, today globally the ecosystem has expanded. There are more and more equipment and brands we can connect together. So this is still something we are very uh, uh, very uh, keen on and, and really working hard on. And with Schneider uh, uh, we have a very strong partnership that started um, one, two years ago. Yes. And, uh, and which now comes to reality. Uh, we have very complementary offers. Uh, Schneider is expert in lighting and energy management. We are expert in, uh, in shutters and, uh, and home automation. So we thought it would be really important that we can work together, provide a good experience, unified user experience. And in a single smart home app, having everything together, easy to use, um, and being, being um, accessible to anyone. Because as we are going 
toward massification, you have different type of users now. Very experienced users, probably like all of you, so you know what you're talking about. And some other are just jumping into smart homes. So we need to make sure that the experience is seamless, simple, and as well advanced for the people who want to go a step further. Uh, and that's the, I think this is something we really share uh, with Schneider, this idea of being open, being accessible, and providing a seamless experience. Um, and so this is why now we have uh, the compatibility in our smart home platform, which is called Tauma, with the new range Wiser Light uh, that you probably have seen, uh, yes. and if not, <laughs> go over there. Yes. Um, and so now, now it's compatible with the platform, so we can promote as well the Schneider uh, solution for lighting and for energy management with the Wiser Energy too. Mm -hmm. and, and we can see that it's, uh, it's very important to, to have this compatibility and compatibility at different levels. It's uh, either we, Schneider Electric, we integrate in uh, larger ecosystems. We can integrate with Alexa, we can integrate with uh, Google Home, we can uh, integrate with uh, Siri and uh, having this voice control and so on. But on the other side, we have also to work on the, on the way on how to embrace other products. So it can be, it can, it can be uh, with, uh, sorry, it's, it's very loud, huh? isn't it? We are all together on the same boat. So uh, it, it's, it's very important also for us to, to bring you the latest functionalities which are not available in our portfolio, but uh, we are getting there, getting them from the, uh, uh, from the outside. And uh, that's why the, the, the open protocols and the, uh, the standardized protocols are very important to, uh, to be used. So then we can be integrated or we can integrate much easier and much faster. And it gives a uh, much better scalability of the offer and the, uh, the installation in the future. Okay, so talking about future, it's Maybe I, I can ask uh, the three of you, how, how do you see the IoT evolving in the, uh, in the coming two to three years? Because it's very difficult to make it in five or ten years, but for this, is where, where, where does it go? As it goes to one, it goes to... Well, for me, uh, I would like to, to talk about the ultra-wide band that is coming with the latest iPhone, you know? And mm -hmm. Uh, it will go to the rest of the brands. It will enable uh, location much better than GPS mm -hmm. and recognition between close objects, you know. So for me, this means that uh, we are becoming beacons, you know. Uh, we are uh, into the houses and into the buildings. The houses and the buildings will be able to recognize who is coming into yes. a room because mm -hmm. of the mobile phone that is. Mm -hmm. And this is one thing that is going to happen. Uh, and you know the power of the processors that they are giving us on the mobile devices is, mm -hmm. is so powerful and so engaging to the user that I think that the manufacturers must bear in mind that this is coming, no? ultra wide band. Mm -hmm. And another thing I would like, this is coming, no? and another thing I would like to see in the future is that mm, home automation, digitalization of the home uh, becomes a, a way to enhance uh, green behaviors, you know, mm -hmm. like mm, sustainability. You, yes. you will have data of your electricity consume alerts mm -hmm. that like, as yes. we see in, and also the water management. I would like to see it um, heading towards uh, sustainability, you know, at a local and, you know, adding local actions and local behaviors, domestic behaviors, mm -hmm. will make a more sustainable world. But do you see that uh, because the technology is available now that the regulation will, will take the lead in bringing this, this as, as mandatory to make sure that people are aware on the way that they spend their energy, the way that uh, they, will, uh, they, they will be more efficient in the... I spending. think regulation yeah. will be always coming after. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it's, uh, but people and is technology is, is pulling, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and regulation is waiting for the technology to be, to be ready, but now it's, it's affordable, it's available, then maybe the regulation will... Now, will now take things happen and then are regulated. Yeah. <laughs> See all these okay. electric scooters and... <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Audrey? How do you see the future? Uh, I, I don't know if it's the future, but what, yes. we, what we see now uh, yes. is that smart home is becoming a standard. Mm. Uh, it has changed a lot for the past two years. I think uh, everyone knows about the revolution of voice assistant. 
Uh, it's planned for EMEA in one year from now to have uh, 90 million households equipped with just with smart speakers. And on, on top of this, you add the, the, the Google Assistant you have on your smartphone and any, any other uh, voice uh, assistant interaction you, you could have. So we can see a very strong acceleration. We can see in new housing, uh, big builders uh, making a smart home, smart apartment a standard. Um, it's been more than 10 years than we are since we have smartphone and no one now can, can, uh, uh, can spend one day without a smartphone. So we expect more as well from connectivity and it's becoming again standard even, even, even for us. So definitively it's going toward massification. Uh, and then it means that we will have to adapt to this massification to be able to answer to this with very accessible product, not only in terms of pricing, but as well in terms of of uh, experience, mm -hmm. we have to be more efficient in uh, in uh, the pro tools, in installation tools. Mm -hmm. The quality of service will be really key. Uh, if if you have something at home that doesn't work, you don't want to wait two days before you get an answer. And this is where all the professionals, uh, you, us, and all the companies will have a key role to play to ensure this quality of a, of a service. And service. it's not only from day one when you do the installation, but every day. And until until the end of the system, or, or the, until the user will, will use the system, because if you connect, you shutter your energy, you use them every day. So globally, the quality of service for this massification to me will be one of the very big challenge I think for uh, for uh, all of us. Um, and of course, even more open and and the standardization of the protocol at some point uh, will be one of the of the key axes of development. And do you think that uh, our partners, our electricians and the distribution, the, the eco-experts will, will evolve in their competencies in, in bringing more IoT as a standard. You say it's a basic, now we say digital is a basic word. So how, do you think that the, this will change? And so I don't know if it's more competence, but it's different competence uh, yeah. and, uh, and and a very strong value that we're bringing to the users being able to help them recognize, uh, give them advice of what they can connect at home, what services they can have. So I think the relationship globally with the professionals will really be stronger, even stronger than what it was before. Mm -hmm. And and the competence, uh, the competency will be very highly valued, That mm. that's sure. Okay. And for us, um, three insights, present, near future and future. Um, from our research, if we segment the smart home marketplace in five verticals, let's say uh, security and safety, uh, energy and lightning, uh, smart appliances, media and entertainment and health. Now, the gateway for adoption is security. Mm. Okay, everybody is buying cameras or CO2 detectors, very close um, uh, thermostats, efficiency, okay? And the future is health, okay? The future is health mm -hmm. of IoT. Um, near future, the voice as the most intuitive, uh, uh, comfortable uh, way of interacting with our homes. In fact, uh, we have boys nowadays in cars, okay, and you can see people chatting in the streets like this, okay. Millennials, they talk when they message, okay, mm -hmm. so voice is, is, is the new normal. Uh, we will talk with our homes, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit freaky, but... Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, the uh, and the future of IoT, uh, probably we will come uh, a device of IoT, okay? But uh, mm -hmm. this is very... And uh, trying to imagine the, the house of the future, uh, I think uh, artificial intelligence will disrupt everything, okay? Uh, artificial intelligence platforms uh, will serve as brains mm -hmm. of our homes. They will know everything about our day a day yes okay that is frightening also but uh, we will have to be prepared and uh, I see homes with drones with robotics a lot of sensors okay we will be sensorized mm. and three possible scenarios will be you have uh, scheduled a dinner with your friends uh, 
this inter artificial intelligence in your home will know which are the preferences of your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, this platform will know what food is in your refrigerator and they will suggest you how or which recipes to prepare to your friends in base mm -hmm. of the food that you have in your refrigerator. Or another one, you will uh, be running with your smartwatch, okay? And uh, your home will know how many calories you have burned. And uh, because of your genetics or your medical mm -hmm. story, your food 3D printer will prepare you the perfect uh, food for you. So it means that uh we are really at the starting point of the IoT in the, yeah. in the, in the house. So it's just to see that uh, what we are doing is really the, the baseline of putting the sensors in place, getting the things working together, but uh, we have to invent the way that uh, we want to run our house. It's, it's really the lifestyle can be adapted by the people thanks to the all what we will be implementing. But now, if, if you look all of that, it's many things to be invented. You're talking about uh, intelligent, artificial intelligence associated to the capture of all these data. Is, but is it for you, it's, it's a threat or is it a, a huge opportunity? Because we, we, I mean, the IoT world will, will, will exponentially grow. Is it a good catch for our business? I, I mean, for those who are in the in the ecosystem of uh, electrical distribution and in in the home in the home builders or the, the uh, for us as eco experts, uh, I see uh, an increase uh, on, on the demand. You know, as as she said, uh, we have the core products. We have the base, the electricity, mm -hmm. the power products, and now we are adding new necessities, new skills, mm -hmm. network skills, uh, protocol communications, and. We are ready, thanks to manufacturers like Schneider, the, mm -hmm. the team of uh, collaborators of these ecosystems, we, we are ready to, to go ahead. And I, I think it's, uh, a lot of opportunities coming yes. for us because uh, the core products must be there, still be there, you need the power. Mm -hmm. And now you are also selling control. Oops. So that's an, an obvious increase, you know? Yes. But uh, I mean, with uh, with Carlos, we he was sharing with me that uh, we were not uh, we we were not bringing the, the the products and the systems fast enough on the market because the market is is moving super fast. In the you know, in the past twenty or thirty years, uh, I was creating offers and it takes two years, three years to get the offers. Now the people are expecting to get the offers in six months or in four months. So. It's, it's also for us, we, Schneider Electric, a huge challenge to follow the speed, the pace that uh, we have in this, uh, in this world. So uh, for sure, our role will be to, to serve you the best, bringing the best technology at the latest moment. And yes, and for you, Audrey, it's yes, you wanted to. I wanted to add something. Yeah. I think it's a huge opportunity. Yeah. And especially for uh, innovation and putting more value in the devices you will connect not only on the platform and the uh, uh, artificial intelligence, but as well on the devices themselves. Mm -hmm. If I take the, uh, the example of Somfy, of 10, 10, 15 years ago, a motor was nice, uh, putting uh, up and, and closing and opening a shutter, but it, it was a bit stupid, a bit stupid motor. Mm. Uh, the more we advance, the more we connect, the more data, intelligence, cinematic value we can put in this motor. And a motor today is silent, has different speed, has a lot of data inside. So it brings innovation, not only to the user, much better experience but as well for the professional with this data we can connect from a distance understand what's wrong with the matter prepare intervention so globally we have we put more value the, 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 the more we connect the smarter each devices can be and bringing more innovation so to me it's really a huge opportunity and that's only for product no? because services of course will be a big big uh, a big opportunity as well okay very good, so uh, what I can see is that the future is pretty bright, but uh, we need to take care of it. And uh, I mean, we are 
we Schneider Electric, we work on uh, with you and, and, and I would like to thank you for that. Just maybe in, in summary before we, we go for questions and uh, just to just wait a minute because these are not the right questions to say. Okay, here we are. Um, so the connectivity for us is a big challenge. Don't, don't think that it's a very easy thing because the technology is there. Let's embrace the technology, but we need to make it very seamless, very simple. Let's, uh, again, keep the complexity in integration on our side. And uh, we, Schneider Electric, we will bring you something super simple, very intuitive, and at the latest technology, latest uh, uh, things that are available. Voice control is, is now a basic. A few years ago, it was a wow effect. Now, I mean, just opening, uh, op opening a curtain uh, with the voice, it's, it's pretty easy to, to achieve. So, let's, uh, it's, again, it's for, sorry. For all of us, it's a, it's a great opportunity. I would like you really to think that it's a, we need you as a, I mean, on the field, getting that it's going extremely fast and uh, we want you to, uh, to be together and embrace. It's a huge opportunity of business that we have in front of us. And uh, we should, and we saw also that uh, even the ecosystem can be much larger than what we think. We are in our own little eco ecosystems, but we will interact with things which are really, we don't even thought about. So let's be, strip, uh, let's be very open on that. Saying that, we are ready for a few questions. Maybe if you want to have any, any conclusion, but otherwise we can, we can take some few questions in the, uh, here. Yes, it works. In English, yeah. ah, yes, yes, please. I don't have the translation, I need to switch on the channel zero, otherwise. So, you prefer that we do it in French? Ah! <laughs> Come on, oh, I ah. switch to English. I don't know for the others, but... Uh. <laughs> switch to English, <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's not a perfect English. So, uh, today we listen uh, many times how to use AI uh, here, in Schneider, in this is fantastic Schneider event to improve or to predictive maintenance, for instance, of uh, electrical motors, uh, wine turbines, mm -hmm. and uh, even uh, full factories. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, today, also, we have uh, chips with uh, neural networks that can learn, uh, that can learn, is, is, the, is the beginning of the artificial intelligence, and you, you can buy this in a, in a small chip that you yes. can use at home, okay? Yes. We have Intel devices and, uh, and other and other manufacturers. So, but I'm, I'm a bit astonished that no one is speaking here that th this is the next step. Uh, the, the, the next step in uh, smart home is to collect to collect all the data of these sensors to learn how to home lives mm -hmm. and improve automatically. So this is the perfect way. Yes. Yes, Please. yes. But this is, I mean, in uh, at, at different uh, moments, uh, we were sharing this uh, artificial intelligence is uh, by by putting so many sensors. Then we have to collect the data and then to crunch the data and, and how to perform. We can perform to to have better comfort. We can we can perform to have better energy usage, and all this is in the pipe. Uh, for example, how to use your Electric, uh, your electrical vehicle charging at which moment if you have a solar base or if you don't have a solar base what is your uh, if you have a dy dynamic tariff how do you we will provide you a recommendation on how and when to use certain loads these are the AI that uh, are in place and, and developing but uh, as I said maybe we have uh, to invent 90% uh, of what we, we will discover is the, the, the wiser algorithm no? yeah. is uh, already predicting something on the connected home booth? Yes. You can no, they say some propositions, no, but it's a cloud, no, yes. algorithm. Yes, it's uh, the recommendation on how to use your your loads. 
certain loads to uh, to maximize. Uh, I mean, your savings um, when you have different tariffs. It depends on the countries. Uh, so, sorry, just a comment to uh, Carlos. Carlos. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I don't like I don't like to communicate my home data to external cloud. Yeah. Okay. So sure. when, when, when so many what, people what I propose is to process this data at home. Yes. Because the process capacity is available today. Yeah. Okay. So so it's it's a good uh, it's a good point. As uh, as you know, there's a, a very long debates on where to put the data and how to in terms of uh, data privacy, in terms of cyber security. So uh, all our systems is uh, I can tell you we are coming from the industry. We can we can come. We are coming from the critical industries and uh, the pressure of uh, bringing something super cyber secure is on us on everyday life in our development, even to serve the residential market and just to switch a light. Okay, so the cyber security is there. Privacy is is of course your choice. And uh, to do that, we, we, we can store the data at the premise level, we can do it at the cloud level, at, at certain, certain AI will require some cloud accessibility. So, but it's, but and then, and then we, can, we can, this AI can be injected in a firmware on certain products to, to, make, to make it more intelligent. And this is what we are doing in some cases. And even I was talking about services, um, maybe one point is that you, you, you should have the choice to agree for your installer, electrician or a company to have your data and access to your data. But if you want to have services, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really nice that your installer can have access to your home, check what's, what's wrong, have an analysis of the number of cycles, anticipate when something will go wrong, call you before. So, I mean, it's... Having the data, if you agree as a, as a user, of course, and it could be as well a momentary access, maybe not all the time, mm. but I think as well is really key if we want to have these services mm. that will have value as well for the users. So. Mm. And uh, you were uh, talking about yeah. protective maintenance. Yes. And what, we, and what I was talking about health in the future at homes. Homes will be... Uh, mm. The way that we can make ourselves predictive my net maintenance, mm -hmm. in the sense that, for example, that your bed will become an EOT device mm -hmm. and will measure how you do sleep, and yes, yes, it will be, will be. Yeah, yes, 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 it exists already. And Toto, yes. you know, Toto, this bathroom company, yeah. it's making a bathroom to analyze your waste. Yeah. And, in, and <laughs> okay. it's absurd, but. So I, I think that there is. There was a yes, a question. Yes, tell me. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Thank you for your for your contribution and your interesting uh, discussion. Um, someone of you have uh, highlighted that we are in the started point of the connected home. Uh, nevertheless, we have heard about several communication protocols. We have heard about Bluetooth, about uh, Z-Wave, about Zigbee. And I would like to know, in your opinion, if there's any protocol, any communication protocol that will lead in the future or if we will found any collaborative system. Okay. For, for our customers, for our final customers, they don't care. Yeah. They don't care. Good, yes. It's a, it's, it's a very good question because it comes to the platforms and the openness on the whole platforms and which protocols that we are using. And it's a, it's a 1 million euro question that you are asking because if I would have the answer, I would be, I mean, the happiest person <laughs> in my job because uh, today we don't know how it, it will turn. So uh, we are providing products to work on Wi-Fi. We are providing products to work on Z-Wave because the security influence companies have done this, uh, this protocol. We are working on Zigbee, but Zigbee 1.2 changed to 3.0. Then we have Bluetooth. Bluetooth is moving to Bluetooth Mesh. Uh, we have Thread. So we don't know, but, but what our engagement with Schneider Electric we would like to give to, uh, to, to all of us is to, to say that it has to be transparent and we will follow the trend. If, for example, if to go to US, we need to be Wi-Fi and Z-Wave, fine. We will be Wi-Fi and Z-Wave. 
But if you go to China, you need to be Zigbee 3.0. Fine, we will be there. You want to have Bluetooth operat operability, we can get that. And, and also the technology will, will give you the opportunity to combine several protocols in, in uh, just one product. So these are the things that we are working all together and, and having also the platforms accessing these different protocols is, is really important. But don't forget, it has to be very simple, very flexible and scalable. scalable. It's just one thing that Lucas says, uh, it's very important uh, that the final user uh, doesn't mind what is it. It's yeah. just back office for them. You know, okay, you have your customers, the, which are technicians, and you have to make a strong protocols, cyber secure protocols, mm. everything. But bear in mind the final user, and uh, they want nice interfaces, cool interfaces, yeah. whatever the system. Yes. And it has no clue. If possible, yeah. uh, take them in the mobile. Okay. Any other questions before we close? Yes. Ah. Uh, yes, you, you were t talking about uh, the necessary partnership that the smart home player need to build in order to build the future of a smart home. Could you elaborate a little more? Is it more partnership on technology or between application expert, or is it even more or even with uh, service providers? So could you mm -hmm. elaborate a little more which type of partnership okay. do we need to develop in the future for the smart home? So maybe uh, to give you a little bit of history of our alliances and, and partnerships, uh, at the beginning it was it was very much on the uh, on the techno part. It's uh, yes, there is a business part, but there is a technology part. It's uh, how to make a seamless um, configuration on different uh, different manufacturers together, and make it very easy to to uh, uh, to achieve. And this was requiring some development, common development, co-development that we were doing and that we are doing. But on the top of it, it's also a way that we want to project ourselves in bringing the different, uh, the, the different solutions because we are not engaged in, in uh, shutter control. But if you want to give um, uh, a differentiated answer on the value for energy efficiency, you need to combine your energy and your shutter control. So we need to have things to work together. So that's, that's the primary uh, uh, the, uh, intention in the, in the alliances and, and partnerships. But not only now, what we need is to enlarge much more uh, the, uh, the partnerships for uh, services provide. You, you, you were mentioning service providers and, and, and uh, new, new, new products, new functions. It's, we will not do that uh, ourselves. So it's important to, to get to, to have much better, uh, much better values to bring to the customer and better experience. We need to, to bring them all together. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're part of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you read that different type of partnerships. Uh, if I take uh, some few, we have about um, 20 brand partnering, I mean, compatible within our, our platform, <laughs> like we do with uh, Schneider. We have also the partnership and the compatibility with voice assistant, of course. <coughs> we are partnering, as you said, on the te technological side. Uh, um, so we part and board members of Thread, of the Zigbee Alliance, to get sure that we understand in which direction uh, the one million question is, uh, is going to. Um, and also to get sure we can influence the protocol to get the functions we, we want. Uh, if you don't participate in these uh, 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 alliances, then maybe they will develop a protocol that is really nice for uh, controlling lighting, but really bad at controlling eating. So it's really key that we collaborate on technology, uh, even if we don't know what will be the, the leading or the five leading protocol tomorrow. Um, but partnering on this uh, is, really, is really important. We have other type of partners too, uh, with uh, big new housing builders like we do in France with Buig or with Next City, big builders uh, trying to understand what they want to bring as a smart home, smart building, smart solution, smart city tomorrow. And so we contribute with them uh, building uh, the, the, the services they want 
and uh, and contributing to developing this together. So the cooperation is not only on application, on technology, but as well on on, on business and and building together what will be a smart home and smart city tomorrow. Yes. So thank you very much for all of you uh, participating in this debate. Uh, again, it's it's a great opportunity for all of us to. Uh, to, to gain and, and start our journey to IoT. We started already, but it will accelerate, get ready, and we are with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you very much.